It's a really important meeting between the United States and the European Union. We've stood very closely together, worked very closely together in response to the crisis that was created by Russia's incursion into Ukraine and its violation of Ukraine's national sovereignty and territorial integrity. One of the things that we're going to focus on in the Council meeting is the impact on, on Ukraine and how to strengthen Ukraine's energy security. We'll be talking about reverse flows of gas that can come from western parts of Europe into Ukraine through Poland, Hungary, potentially Slovakia, the mechanisms that are being in place, the way to actually get, a, get secure supplies of fuel into Ukraine, the ability of Ukraine over time to be able to reform its internal economy so that it makes more effective use of the fuel resources that it has, and over time the ability of Ukraine to be able to produce its own fuel so that it can become let's say independent of Russian supplies or at least have the choice of whether it wants to take those over a period of seven to eight years. Second piece that we want to look at is Europe more broadly and the steps that Europe is taking to advance its own energy security. It's done a marvelous job of building interconnectors across states, changing rules and regulations so that there is a real gas market. But it needs to be completed, it needs to be expanded. And so reinforcing those steps on infrastructure, on LNG regasification terminals, on projects like the Southern Corridor that will bring gas from Azerbaijan into Europe, the potential of expanding that to extend itself into Central and Southeastern Europe as well. And so that agenda of bringing multiple supply and sources of for means of diversifying Europe, Europe's energy supplies is going to be a key component as well. Final thing is that we have an ongoing agenda on research and um, um, and innovation that has been working consistently between the United States and the European unions on issues such as electric vehicles or in carbon capture and storage. And so we will update where we have been on those issues to reaffirm the progress that we've made and then to give a boost to additional work together.